Just Tony Obias, AB Boxing News. We're here, we're retired. Kelly Pavlik. Kelly, how's it going? Going good, man. Enjoy, enjoying the uh, way into the fights tomorrow night. Who do you got winning tomorrow? We got Adrian Broner, Mikey Garcia, big fight. Yeah, you know, I think Adrian Broner is a very talented fighter, but you know, Mikey Garcia, in my opinion, is uh, just such a solid tactician, and, and uh, he fights with such perfect, you know, not perfect, but very good skills. You know, he makes the right foot moves and, and footwork. Uh, he inches and angles. He's never out of place, and he, you know, got a lot of pressures and tremendous conditions. So I think that's going to. Uh, cause a little problem for Adrian Broner. You know, to me, Adrian Broner has a very good uh, style, but after that, when he's a little frustrated, you know, he don't have a good game plan B. You see the fight going the distance, or you see a stoppage? You know, I never call those, man. Even with my fights, I never called a uh, stoppage or knockout. Again, I just think the amount of punches that Mikey Garcia throws around and throughout the fight, I think that's going to take a toll come seventh, eighth, ninth round. Uh, maybe a, a unanimous decision, if not late round stoppage. We got our upcoming fights. You know, we got Triple G, Canelo, the big fight. What's, what's your thoughts about that fight? You know, I was going with uh, Triple G a lot on that one because of the natural size and, and the strength of Triple G. Uh, I see a lot of flaws that Triple G has, and he, he there's not many big middleweights either at that weight class right now. Um, but after watching Canelo his last couple of fights, I mean, Canelo's another very solid fighter all around, and you know I seen um, Triple G. He struggles a little bit, uh, especially after the third or fourth round. It looks like he gets a little arm weary. Um, not not much snap on the punches, but then again, you know what? With um, Triple G's punching power, you know anything can happen in a fight. You see the fight going the distance, or you expect to stop it? I kind of see that fight going the distance too. You know, Triple G's got a good good chin, and I don't see him, especially later the fight goes. I think the better chance that Canelo has, and if that if that's the case too, I see it being a decision. Now we got upcoming fights on uh, August 26th. We have Cotto making his return with Golden Boy. Uh, what's your thoughts about that fight? You know. It depends on, every fighter is different, you know, and every fighter ages differently. Um, some guys are freaks of nature, and, and uh, Kodo's been pro a long time. You know, he turned pro when I did. That was, uh, you know, 16 years ago. Um, sometimes when you get in that ring, your body tells you how old you are. You know, he's not a spring chicken in the sport. And, you know, hopefully, though, I think Kodo's a terrific fighter, and, and uh, you know, he works hard, he's dedicated. So hopefully he can come back and look sharp for the fans because, you know, Miguel Kodo's got a lot of boxing fans out there. Do you see Kodo stopping... Uh He's fighting a Japanese fighter at uh, Hamagai, I believe. I think so, you know, mainly right now with the experience and everything else. But again, we'll see if Father Time catches up or if he's sharp on, on fight night. Also, you know, of course, we got the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor, the same night. Yeah. I mean, uh, what's your thoughts about that fight? Do you see anything, you know, uh, happening as far as the outcome? Anything different, surprisingly? No, um, I, I think if anything, Conor might give a. Uh, Mayweather a little bit of trouble in the first two rounds because of the uh, the awkward style that he's going to have. And I still see Floyd winning uh, those rounds. And I see Floyd just really picking it up and doing what he wants to do as the fight goes on. You know, MMA is a, a fantastic sport. I, I love it. It's a hell of a combat sport. But, you know, box is called the sweet science for a reason. And when you got guys that perfect that skill day in, day out for two and a half, three months in training camp, you know, uh, MMA, they, they train one week for grappling, one week for kicks, the next week for other things. You know, box is boxing. This has been Floyd's uh, yard. And it would be the same way if it was vice versa. I would say, obviously, Conor McGregor would win that fight, and, and Floyd don't stand a chance. Do you see uh, any any potential fights that uh, that catch your eye? You know, as far as there, there's rumors, Joshua Klitschko part two. Is that something you want to yeah, see? Yeah, or do you feel like maybe Klitschko should be retired? I think that'd be interesting. Um, you know, right now the welterweight division it, it looks like it's going to be fun to watch for a while. Right, we got know. we got Errol Spence. Yeah, exactly. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Is there yeah. is there any particular fighter that you look? Oh, right now to? you know you got you got Sean Porter over there that's relevant with anybody. I mean, you got a kid that's naturally that strong, that big throws that many punches around, you got to fight no matter who you are in that weight class. It's up in the air. And I just think that's what's so good about it. It's almost like the throwback with the Sugar Ray Leonard era. And um, even go back to like the De La Hoya era with the Trinidad's like Cortez and Fernando Vargas's. I mean, it's just an action-packed weight class right now. And then you got talks of Terrence Crawford moving up to that weight class, which is really going to be interesting. So 
no, you're excited to see what happens. Now, Kelly, you were saying uh, earlier before you're working on something with, uh, with a podcast, right? You got that? Yeah, we got the punchline with Kelly Pollock and James Dominguez. It's on YouTube. You know, you type it in. We'll have more information. We're kind of in the early stages of it, so right. we're really just getting going. We've had some great guests so far. You know, we're going to have Paulie on, um, and, and Mikey Garcia has been on once already. And when everything slows down for him, we're going to have him back on. So it's been interesting, and, and it's fun to, to hear from some of the people we have on there were very blunt on there. Anything to say to your fans, final words? Hey, for everybody that's, that supported me and, and still does and, and uh, liked the fights, I appreciate all the years that, that you guys uh, followed and cheered me on, and um, thanks for everything.